All right, it's Joe Bruin here from AllAccessEntertainment.com, and it's the fifth annual Rhode Island Comic Con, and we are here with the legendary voice actor Michael Bell. Thank you for taking uh, the time today. Really appreciate it. And uh, how did you first get your feet into the world of voice acting? Well, you know, we use the term voice acting, but we're all actors. So, sure. And I had a long, wonderful on-camera career prior to doing it. But uh, it got to be a point where I wasn't doing the kind of roles I wanted to do in on-camera. You know, I was guest starring, which was good. Sure. And then I think one of the final things I wound up doing was um, uh, Star Trek, The Next Generation, The Pilot. Which was the kind of stuff I wanted to do. Right. But I'd already gotten to voiceovers, so I figured that's really the area I wanted to play. I got to play so many different. I got to play ladies. I got to play old ladies and ogres and warriors and stuff I would never get cast on camera. So that became my life. And when you're doing a show for a long period of time, say Rugrats, for instance, you were part of for quite some time, is it a tight knit cast not being on screen and? You guys actually do the the voice work in the same room, or? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. That was we were all very friendly. All of us were good buds. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that did mean we socialized, but sometimes we'd get together for something or other. Sure. But uh, for the most part, it was yeah, it was very good friendly. And in the mid 1980s, of course, uh, you played Duke, GI Joe, uh, the very famous phrase, "Go Joe," and. Uh, Yojo. Yojo. Okay. And, uh, you know, how did that come about, that whole experience? And what was it like becoming part of the G.I. Joe phenomenon? You know, we didn't know it was a phenomenon. That was not a word we would have used. It was work. This was a job. We were actors. We were thrilled to be cast in it. Uh, you worked and you didn't know how many series you were going to do, how many of the series you were going to do. It was exciting. And then uh, during the course of the show, uh, you suddenly got a photograph or a drawing of characters and oh yeah, this is your new character. So this is the addition? Yeah. Okay, what in? Just do it. Sure. Okay. Right. Come up with something. All of us went through that. Come up with something. Right. It's different than the first character or the second character or that third character. Right. right. And you've been a part of so much like we said and in closing, um, what would you say was your favorite project if you have one that stands out all these years? Probably something that most people don't know about. Uh, I did... Um, uh, Spielberg's A Wish for Wings That Work. It's a Christmas special, which everybody should really get a look at. Okay. Uh, I played a character called Opus, the Opus that wished to fly. And uh, Robin Williams did a voice in it. Uh, oh, wow. Let's see. Um, myself, obviously. Uh, I guess it's got some, some big names. Dustin Hoffman. Wow. And it's a mixture of uh, animation and live action. Film. And it's really a clever, clever show. And second guy would be uh, Chaz, Chuck his dad, from the Spooky Rug Rats. Oh, what a small world. Okay. Well, I thank you very much, Michael Bell, taking your time here today, Rhode Island Comic Con. And the best of luck with the weekend. Good. Appreciate it. Thank you as always. Take care.